doing some stargazing this week in Toronto. Travel and Lifestyle Magazine's Jennifer Weatherhead Harrington joins us. She's got all the top TIFF spots scoped out for us because you've, you haven't had time actually this year, but you have in the past. In you the know, past, all the yeah. spots to I go. always go. I used to be a magazine editor that covered celebrity stuff, so I know the spots where those celebrities like to be. Okay, so the TIFF light box, I would think, has got to be kind of the first on the list. Absolutely. That's your best bet to see anyone. If you want to see red carpet, people getting in and out of cars, it's the perfect spot to stargaze, you're pretty much guaranteed to see someone around that area. Okay, and then what about, is it is it hotels that you want to scope out, or, or what's your next go-to? You do, you want to look at hotels. So the Bisha Hotel is a relatively new hotel in Toronto. They have that amazing rooftop. That it's a beautiful. boutique hotel, so celebrities love it. It's really close to the light box. So Olivia Munn was there earlier this week. So was Canadian Jacob Tremblay, if you're looking to yes, spot him. Okay. Adorable. Uh, but it's really just a fun, happening spot. So it's a really cool spot to see celebrities getting in and out of parties coming in and out of cars, going to premieres, that kind of thing. Okay, so maybe get in the lounge, grab a drink, like yes. just don't, you know, you don't camp know. out there. No, right? you yes. might get, get inside if yes. you can, or even into the lobby. You don't know who you're going to bump into. Mm -hmm. Very cool. What other spots have you got? So there are definitely a lot of other places where you could go. There's the beautiful Hazleton Hotel. Uh, there's also the one restaurant at the Hazleton. So Yorkville used to be the main hub yes. for TIFF, and it's kind of moved down to the King Street area. But the Hazleton and Yorkville still has that celebrity pull. So some celebrities still stay there. So this would be a spot, if you can get on that patio at one restaurant, you can do a great amount of sightseeing and stargazing. There'll be people walking by. You might be sitting next to a director or two. You never know. And Just a lot kind of celebrities of listen like and eavesdrop, but try to do it very conspicuously. Yes, right? you do. You have to, it's an art form. It is an art form. <laughs> <laughs> and and then what about in, in between that area then and King Street? Do you think you'd you'd see a lot of foot traffic kind of thing? Yeah, exactly. If so, it's a nice day. Yeah, if it's a nice day, probably not on a day like today. Yes. but if it's a nice day, you'll see celebrities out walking around getting coffee getting prepped that kind of idea it's kind of like that casual bump in that you might see someone yeah i'm wondering too what stores in the area might get definitely hope renfrew for sure for mm -hmm. all of those designer things Saks, that kind of idea but also for celebrities on queen street west as well because it's so quirky, and, quirky and kind of one of a yeah. kind there, and it's right? a lot more laid back too so yes. i feel like celebrities during their downtime poke around a lot of shops there okay okay what about other restaurants and things restaurants you're looking at places like montecito which is actually owned by ivan reitman so tons of parties happen here lots of soirees big premiere parties happen at this restaurant so if you can get in there get near the bar that would be amazing because you'll have a chance to see someone for sure okay uh, there's also patria which is an incredible spanish restaurant tapa style it's definitely a younger crowd adam levine went there last year it's some place where you might see someone like ryan gosling okay. that kind of idea jake gyllenhaal it's a really cool spot very dimly lit so it's a nice hideaway for celebrities if they mm -hmm. want something quiet. And, and any tips like as an observer, if you've never been before, like probably not a great idea to go around like with your phone like that, right? No. Because you want to you wanna still give the stars kind of their their privacy, but yeah, yeah. show a little bit of that. I think it depends also where you might be spotting yes, them. Yes, yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of celebrities are also getting ready for the red carpet. Right, so, a so lot they of, might be at spas or At the spa, salons. a lot of them go to the Mirage Haman spa at the Shangri-La, which is where a lot of celebrities also stay. Mm -hmm. So it's amazing because they get prepped for the red carpet and everything, but that might not be the best time to be asking yeah. for a selfie. <laughs> yes. So you need to use your judgment there and just remember to be respectful. But yes. they're also here to promote. Right? So right. They, they are expecting that fans are going to come up to them and want pictures and that kind of thing. You just have to do it in the right setting. Right. And any, like when you go stargazing, what do you wear? You know what? It depends. If I'm going to a big party, obviously you want to be dressed yes, up and yeah. fit in. And it's so much fun to get glam and glitzy for that kind of thing. But if you're just walking on Queen Street, you just want to kind of blend in and look cool and a little bit unassuming too. Because okay, so if that's what they're doing, then you kind of want to do that as well. Then you want to do that, maybe the shades. Even, yeah. Well, except for today. <laughs> <laughs> except for today. Today is, if you can find a chic umbrella. <laughs> okay. Awesome, good uh, tip, Sarah. Your favorite spot though. We've got 20 seconds left. My favorite Your very spot, favorite spot to I will say actually, SDK in Yorkville, just because a lot of celebrities and parties happen there, and I have a sweet spot for it because last year I met Charlie Hunnam ah, when I was there. Enough said. Yes. Okay, <laughs> thanks very much for coming in with your tips. Thank you.